hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is monique agbo and i am a fashion and lifestyle youtuber based in nigeria in today's video i'm going to teach you all how to make a raw food scrunchie before we dive into this tutorial together kindly subscribe to my youtube channel give my video a thumbs up turn on your post notification bell so you can know anytime i upload a new video now let's dive into this tutorial together for this scrunchie tutorial you need your fabric you need your you need your elastic your scissors your pin yeah those are the things you need for your scrunching i'm making use of the duchess material and the length is seven inches and the width is 30 inches my elastic is and the elastic is seven inches long yeah so next thing I'm going to do is just to flip it over like this. Leave at least an inch at this end and an inch at the other side. And run a straight stitch. Make sure you leave the one inch at both sides, the left and the right side. So guys, I've already marked the one inch at this side, so I'm just going to run a stitch from this side. So you can see I've also marked an inch at the other side, so I'm just going to end the stitch at this, at this point that I marked. So guys, after sewing it, I'm just going to flip it over to the right side. So guys after flipping it to the right side you will see an opening at the left and at the right side of your scrunching that's the one inch you left at both sides so you're just going to turn it this way so you place both opening together at both sides like this this way pin it then you sew it you run a regular stitch on it so guys after sewing that part there should be an opening at this area so all you need to do is just to go up and down you go up by half an inch and go down by half an inch then sew a straight line around your scrunching so guys after sewing it it should look like this you'd have two straight stitch around your scrunching so you go back to the opening and take your elastic and pass it through the scrunchie you're going to have that ruffled effect while pulling it through so after pulling it through you can see the ruffled effect so I was going to tie the elastic. Can take off. Make sure it's very tight. So you put it back inside <coughs> that opening. And the next thing you're going to do is just to use your hand needle and, and stitch it to give it a nice a neat finishing So guys, 
guys i've already stitched it so i'm just going to flip it to the right side 